Howdy all everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel once again here, it's Mac. Okay, so, once again, it's another type of little, uh, round one, go in, guns blazing, shoot em up type of, uh, type of a gunfight here. And, uh, what we're gonna do here is, uh, well, switch, I'm gonna go to the next little phase here, going into multiplayer, and... This time, we're choosing this guy right here, which is Frank Woods. Now, he's the kind of a guy that, well, this is me kind of, you know, kind of using my own words to kind of rather describe him, which is he's the type of guy that he's a no-bullshitter, no-nonsense no type of rush on in, go guns blazing, get the job done. I'm not screwing around kind of a guy. Well, but I'm pretty sure, considering the fact he, uh, he he's a former Marine, I'm pretty sure that kind of goes, goes along with the trade. So, what we're going to do here once again is going to go ahead and use him as a playable character and going to go into the whole versus bots mode and we're going to go ahead and give this, give this guy a bit of a shot here. So, without further ado here, let's have some fun with this guy. Team Deathmatch. CIA team, defend our freedom. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and kick some ass. Not bad, not bad. Tango removed. Attack up. Get an attack helicopter overhead. Down. Excellent. Got you all. Not bad. Gotcha. Enemy down. Gotcha. Not bad. <sighs> yeah, so far not bad. Hostile spy plane is almost overhead. Spy plane available for tasking. Alright, time to drop a nuke. Tango removed. Ah. 
<laughs> I don't know why I do that, but it's kind of funny. Hunter requesting spy plane. Hunter requesting He smoked. Gotcha. Hostile spy plane established overhead. Established spy plane on my grid. Sun grenades, he's got like a throw at. Ten you made that look easy. Bravo Zulu. That's the last of them, boys. All right. Fifteen by. Alright, so now that I've already had taken Frank Woods into the whole uh, round one type of uh, little shootout with those with those bots, and that what looks like some kind of a nuke, some sort of like a nuke test site or something like that. Once again, just to give off uh, some other type of feature, little uh, some kind of other little feature type of display, little uh, demonstration. Yes, we're back in the whole zombie world. In the whole mid, in the whole uh, middle of the, what looks like winter. No, I'm not gonna really dive into that right now. I saw so, those flaming, uh, those. Uh, if I can try to get them in in a shot here, those guys right there. Those, oh, those, those hellhounds. But I, I'm, but according to this video, that's not what I'm here to do. Just here to, to also uh, show off some other type of features of uh, Frank Woods, and well, I'll probably kill him off screen or something like that. But anyways, yes, we're back here into the what looks like the whole zombie world version of the whole uh, Alpines, middle of the winter here. Let's just say Canada. Uh, blah, I can't talk right, damn it the hell. I was going to say Canada, there we go, finally. With uh, Canada, yes, Canada has a bit of a high reputation for the whole, for the whole part of being very cold up here. Yes, unfortunately, that type of reputation does precede it. And yes, you'll be seeing plenty of this kind of snow like this, especially at a very high type of levels, if not worse, much worse. Yes, during the whole winter season of Canada, yes, it does get that worse. Much, much worse. We're talking like anywhere between about, roughly give or take, uh, I'd say 
during the whole um, ranging between about minus 30 to minus 50. And that's just like a, that's a very type of calm and type of a range. And you will get that up here in Canada. By far you will. But, you know, the only reason I'm mentioning about that is because, well, obviously as it is this whole part of the environmental cold kind of reminds me of that. And yes, we're in the middle of the whole part of Russia where you got some ski, tr you got some skiing activity going on. You see this right here, and you can s go down and slide down there, whatever. I thought that this part of the whole, this whole area right here, would be just a nice little, um, would be a nice little kind of spot just to kind of uh, give uh, give off some kind of a gameplay footage about some features I will display with uh, Frank uh, with Frankie here, Frank Woods. I thought, well, it's a nice little environmental kind of structure over here. I thought it was pretty nice, very cool. And on top of that, just to do some type of, uh, just, to, um, just to do some type of uh, filming here, around this environment, yes, it would be practically plagued with a great deal amount of... Right on the fucking button! Zombies, which of course I'm pretty sure as you have already had seen in uh, the clip which I just finished displaying, yes I did already manage to take them all down and shoot them down and clear, and clear all of them out of the way. Pretty much just get, get this whole area cleared completely out of of those zombies so I don't have to obviously as it is I don't have to like worry like if any of them are around the area and as I'm kind of uh, displaying some of the features and whatever it's like damn what the hell I don't want these damn zombies in the way while I'm while I'm doing some kind of uh, filming of any kind but like I said it's a nice little environment I thought why not I'll just go ahead and uh, choose this little site here anyways one little second here it's gonna just gonna have a look at something I never had a chance to look further down and see how... Yeah, that's quite a distance in ways. Okay, well anyways here, it's gonna give off... Uh, just gonna show some kind of features and what the hell, right? So... Uh, let's see here now. I guess this spot where you have to show off the features. Okay, so... Now, what do we have here? Let's see what we got for, for for Frankie here. Flourish weapon. Nice! I don't know if he does it again or not. Okay, yeah, he does too. I thought maybe he might do a bit of a different kind of featuring little trick with it, but okay, whatever. So, what else do we have here? Hey there. Okay, hold on a second here. Hey, what can I do you for? Hey. I owe you. Appreciate it. Thanks much. Appreciate it. Not too shabby, kid. Job done. Nice. You're all right. Nice work, son. Not too shabby, kid. Drop it, douchebag, before I drop you. 
Drop it, douchebag, before I drop you. Hell no. Negative on that. F that noise. Negative on that. All right, boys, I'm buying. All right, boys, I'm buying. Acknowledge that. Received and understood. Affirmative. Got it. Received and understood. So, those are the type of uh, dialogue of, of which he uses. That's always kind of uh, really interesting and, and, you know, promotes the whole part of the curiosity as to what each character would say if you, uh, if you choose kind of like whichever type of options. They always have a different saying, so to speak. And, on top of that, during the whole part of the, of the whole editing process, I picked up this gun right here. I'm pretty sure this, uh, the whole part when he flourishes the gun, that's not going to be any different from the uh, from the AK. Hmm. Same thing, hey. Well, it's not too bad. It's not too shabby. Hmm. So as you can tell, I had. Pretty much had uh, Frankie here choose this weapon in his fight against those bots. I figured, well, I figured, ah, oh, whatever. I'll just kind of put that on camera and, and have the AK. Um, I, I don't know if it's an AK-47 or a different kind of model. Well, it is. Well, the the whole game, the whole storyline, or the campaign, the storyline itself is based in in the early 1980s. So. It's like, that's probably, you know, I'm pretty sure other type of, uh, you know, type of, uh, type of, uh, forces are still, are you, are still using models like that. But that's just a guess on my end. So I figured, I'll, 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 I'll just take this, uh, this AK here, hook it up with, uh, with Frankie here, and then after that, he can go guns blazing as he wishes. So, like I said before, now we just pretty much have, uh, gone through the whole type of um, features of the type of dialogue that that Frank Woods here would be able to use in the battle and well the, well the whole dialogue here anyways as far as I do know of when you go when you do dive into battle it's like how often would you like how often would you even use any of these type of dialogue here like how often would you use that while, while you're going so called um, you know, Gunfighting, so to speak. Anyways, some people, some people probably don't even bother with that. Some people really can't because they have to focus on the whole battles ahead of them. Other people, they probably do it just fine. But you know, everyone is different in that particular sense. And well, I do know that with other people, you know, like I know, I know a lot of COD players. They obviously do a great deal amount of the whole uh, online shooting towards other players, and well, I have done that. But the thing is, there are a lot of uh, online players that are, you know, like I said, they play this game in a metaphorical sense, metaphorically, metaphorically. They play the whole online part almost ridiculously all the time, if not in a religious kind of a sense. Like I said, metaphorically, not quite literally or anything, but I'm pretty sure all of you follow me in that sense. I just don't have time for the whole online part, so, because, like, I, I want to be able to just put the whole, um, you know, campaign of, of the gameplay story, uh, get that recorded in, plus do the whole type of, uh, uh, playable parts of how well these characters, uh, do in the whole type of, uh, gunfight and the whole type of uh, arcade mode against, against the bots and so on. No, just kind of just just display all that, just to kind of express that. But as for online, no, there's a lot of players online there. They play this game, 
know, they have, well, you know, they have a shit ton of time just to play this game, especially online, towards other players to no ends. Like, well, no, I've got a life of my own. I don't have time for that. I was like, I only have time for this and this, and maybe do a little bit of the whole game, but just kind of express that and show that, and that's it. It's like, okay, now i got to do something else. So, like I said before, just want to be able to show the whole part of how, uh, of all the playable part of uh, Frank Woods here. And how he does, uh, how he how he handles his own, especially in the whole gunfight of things. Well, the guy is he has a he has a great deal of experience as being a marine, so that tells you right there. Because I also do know, according to the information which I picked up, and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of uh, Americans that could be able to pretty much uh, confirm with me about this as well. According to what I've heard, that I do know that. In the whole Amer in the whole uh, American version of the military, the Marines are literally, in a metaphorical sense, the spear, uh, the spear of the weapon that go that permits the Marines go into battle first. I can only guess that the U.S. Army go into battle second, or whichever or whichever which way they're placed inside there. But I do know that the, that the United States Marines. They're the tip of the spear, therefore, they go in first. And that will explain the reason why that the character Frank Woods, he's a bit of a hard-ass, and because, well, obviously, as I, as I have heard that what every type of foreign military, what they do is that they literally break you, when it comes to your personality or anything about you, they break you down or rebuild you back up again to form you of, what, you know, of, of the kind of soldier you should be, because they need to do that. All right. Well, now that I'm pretty much showing all the features about about uh, Frankie here, I'll just end the video right here. So that pretty much uh, wraps up the whole part about the whole playable character of Frank Woods here. And like I said, we've already gone through the features about him and so on. And by the way, I'm just going to let you all know here that I'm still cur in the, currently in the process of uh, putting together that one type of uh, campaign mission, which is part of the whole storyline of Black Ops Cold War, which is um, Desperate Measures. Well, you know, it's, like I said before, not only is that a really cool type of uh, sneaky kind of a mission where you're going undercover and so on, but on top of that, I'm just um, in the process of doing some... Uh, you know, directing, producing, and video editing with the whole part of uh, putting something really cool, epic, and some parts would be a little bit mildly comical. But now I'm just putting something really kind of cool and something fascinating and epic together so all of you will be able to say, hey, this is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. And everything will connect in relations to that. So anyways, everyone, as always, as usual, everybody, Thank you very, very kindly for tuning into my channel once again. Please, please, please be sure to hit the, uh, the, subscri the um, subscribe, like, and notification button. And if you have any comments and questions in relation to this, by all means, go ahead and throw into the comment section. And once again, thanks, thanks to, um, thanks to the new viewers that have already subscribed to my channel. Greatly do appreciate that. As always, as usual. Keep the by all means keep that up and rolling. That does help me out in the whole long run of things. It helps me out with my channel and you know it just gets things going. And again, I greatly do appreciate that. Thank you very kindly. So I uh, so once again to those who are new to this channel, same thing as always. Please when it when it comes to the whole part of subscribing and like notification, hit all three in order, in order to get more of the whole gameplay type of, type of uh, gameplay commentary type of content. So, like I said before, when it comes to the whole uh, Desperate Measures, I'm still in the whole part of doing the whole um, filming and producing and so on. And like I said, just putting something really cool, epic, and model the form of the whole comedy in there. Something really cool and epic for you guys. So, like I said, just stay tuned. More content along the way. Peace out and stay gold.